Rajan, who I know quite well, uh, he messaged me and he said he, he needed to meet urgently. Um, but I was in Bulawayo at the time getting ready for the test series. So I said, well, I can't meet you because he's obviously here in Harare. I said, but you can call any time. And then he called me the next day and, you know, he told me there was a guy in Dubai that, the, that wanted uh, me to, I, I don't know if it was throw games or fix games against West Indies. I can't remember the term he used. Um, and then, yeah, for, from there, um, he went on to say there'll be no third party involved. The package will come straight to me. There was never an offer made. And then he said, the guy will be phoning him back that evening. Can I tell him you'll think about it? And then that's when I told him I wasn't interested. I felt a bit guilty, to be honest, because um, I'd never been in that situation before. And like I, was, I wasn't sure how to react to it. And you know, it played on my mind for for a couple of hours and you know I just I didn't know where to go I knew, I knew the regulations from ICC. It was late in the evening uh, where, when I got the phone call so you know I thought about it a lot um, slept on it and then straight away that morning I went to Heath Street and, and told them about the approach and you know, we obviously said, well, the best thing to do is speak to the manager and they can get hold of an ICC official, and, and that's what happened. So I got a phone call, I think it was the next day, from an ICC official, and they told me they had received the report and they will do everything they can um, for me not to be involved over the, over the two test matches. They, they will take it into their hands and and do and do the necessary work. I, I didn't hear for about three weeks, uh, which which was quite nice. I got to actually forget about it. And then um, two ICC officials came out, and we did a video interview where where I told them exactly what happened, and they told me Rajan will have no further contact with me uh, over that time, and and I could leave it in their hands. Yeah, very happy. Um, once, once ICC took over um, after that video uh, interview that I had with them, you know, I, I didn't have uh, you know any any follow-ups. They phoned me every 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 couple of weeks just to update me, which was quite nice because like if you're not hearing, you know, you, you're not sure what's happening. But they they were really good in updating me. Uh, which was nice, uh, and then just the, the least amount of invol involvement that I had in it was, was nice, so it gave me peace of mind. Yeah, very helpful. You know, I, I knew straight away what I, de what I needed to do, and, you know, I've been in a lot of those meetings since under-19s. You know, I, I knew not reporting is, is a serious offence, um, e even though I didn't accept an offer. Like you still need to report, and and it'll 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 help grow the game, I think. Yeah, I definitely report straight away. I mean, the the you know the monetary um, value of, of of something is very short term, but the but the you know the consequences if you if you if you accept if you accept an offer you know it goes really long term you know well into your personal life and, and your finances so you know, I would suggest anyone who, who who got who got offered or approached you know to report uh, as soon as possible it's just i mean it's the highest form of cheating isn't it so you know, it's it's when a game is 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 planned, it, it doesn't begin. Uh, it's not a game anymore. It becomes a business. So you know, it's oh, it's you know, just say it's it's really wrong to do, and and you know, there should never be politics or corruption in sport. If no one ever accepted anything from from bookies or something, then then there would be no need for bookies in the sport. So, you know, I, I think players have a huge role to play. You know, they you know, can obviously report and, and do their best to just play cricket to the best of their ability. 
Yeah, very satisfied. Um, <clears throat> I thought I thought ICC did really well to to keep me away from from the media side of things, and, and, and they took over everything. So I was really satisfied, and you know, you know I'm, I'm happy to move on from it now.